Audio. Let me clarify more. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-khalq illahi ajma'in Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira Today inshallah I'm going to talk about or to discuss chest examinations Put in your mind that to examiners observing you while you are doing the chest or any clinical stations because of five skills, this five skills examination technique, welfare, and uh, picking up the finding and differential diagnosis and plan of many. Nobody is going to ask you what is your diagnosis, and they will ask you and they will assess you based on the skills. And the most common cause of failure, of failing this basis or any exam, is finding in clinical station, while in talkative station is concern and communication skills. The people in this basis, they fail this exam because of finding, identify finding in clinical stations, and because of yeah, <coughs> concern or communication skills in talkative stations. That is why in clinical sessions, please don't link your heart to the steps of examination techniques. Link, train yourself. When you come to the exam, you will be free only for picking up the finding. Then tell the examiner this is the finding, and the examiner will ask what is the differential diagnosis of this finding and what is what would you like to do further investigations and plan of many chest examinations. You will be sitting like this, two examiners, they will open the door, then you will <coughs> greet them, then you will come to that patient. Don't go to the patient. Wash your hands first, and go to the wall, read the instruction inside the wall, examine the chest, this patient complaining of repeated chest infections, examine his chest, that means I am dealing with bronchial test. Most likely. Hello, good morning. My name is Dr. Adam, I would like to examine you. During my examination, if you feel any pain or discomfort, let me know. Take two steps away to, to take general observation for the patient. If you did not take two steps away, they might minus you. They will write in the feedback candidate, he did not take general book. While you are taking two steps away, say for him, during my examination, if you feel any pain or discomfort, let me know. Then I will examine from here, here to look for any oxygen cylinder or any sputum but beside the patient. Then I will start by the hands. Can I have a look to your hands, please? Look for number one, clubbing. Do like that. Number two, for any deformities, is there. Number three, separate these fingers together like this to look for any nicotine stain. Then after that, can I have a look to your uh, bottom of your hands to look for any cyanosis or any palm resin. Then after that, do like that. Then I will sit with him like this to look for any flabbing tremor. Then I will put his hands down. Then I will put my two fingers here to look for the, for the respiratory rate. While I'm calculating the respiratory rate, my hands should be on the pulse. Then, after calculating the respiratory rate within around 15 seconds, then I will come to start my journey from above down. Above the eye, looking for jaundice. Below the eye, for bala. Within the mouse, for cyanosis. And below the mouse, to the neck, for any raised JVB. Within the chest, to have three loops. Left laterally. Mid, in the middle, 
then right lateral to uh, to pick out any to pick out any uh, to pick out any any uh, scar. That is why, and if there is any scar, move your index finger on the scar like this patient. Yes, I will look here, here, here to look for any scar. If I got a scar, move your index finger beside the scar to tell the examiner I saw the scar. If even if you forget it, examiner, if you saw you move yeah, your index finger to to the to the to the on the scar. Then you will come to the end of the bed. In the end of the bed, three steps. Number one. You or two steps. You will sit like that. Your head should be within the same level of the uh, chest of the patient. Then I will ask him take deep breath, Nafas Amir. Again, to identify any asymmetrical of the chest. The second step. Can I press on your limbs, please? If you feel any pain, let me know. Okay. Press on beating edema and look to his face. Then after that, check the beating. It. Don't press like this. Press while to uh, in his face. Then after that, lift your hands to check for any beating. It. Then lastly, give me your diagnosis. Can you give me a cough, please? Koha. <coughs> Again. <coughs> this cough now is productive cough. That means I am dealing most likely with something called bronchitis. If he gave me dry cough, that means most likely I'm dealing with pulmonary fight prose. Again, the journey from above down, as soon as you finish the pulse from here, you start your journey above the eyes. Please, can I have a look on this? Then below the eyes to look for the pulse. Then within the mouth, raise your tongue up. Then take your torch to look below his tongue. In the chest, I know one candidate, he raised a tongue like this. But uh, open your, open your, he said, he opened the mouth of the patient like this. But he did not raise a tongue to check for, say, you know, they write for, they wrote it for him in the feedback candidate. He didn't check, say, you know, this in patient with, uh, in patient with in respiratory examination. That is why, raise, can you open your mouth, raise your tongue, take the torch and put it below the, Tongue. Then after that, I will come to the neck. Can you have a look there, please? To check for any raised JVB. Then below the neck to the chest to have a look. Lateral, medium, and right, uh, right lateral. Then you will come to the end of the bed to sit down to check. Nafas. Then after that, koha. <coughs> I know that is productive cough, then I will medial malleolus, above it I will press for beating edema like this. Do you have any pain, please? No. Thank you. Can I press? Yes. Then I have a look to that beating edema. Then I will come to the chest. While I come into the chest, I have to warm my hands first. Warm my hands first. If you go to YouTube's or any different books, different examiners and different consultants and if they have different methods or different technique of examination. Some people start the chest anteriorly and some start it posteriorly. Take for yourself one frame of examinations. And the CNS there is many, many, many ways for examinations. Uh, abdomen, there is many techniques. Take only one technique, print it in your brain and train yourself on it. Personally, if the patient having any rheumatoid deformities or any evidence of systemic sclerosis, I will start the chest posteriorly. Better to start posteriorly because all the things are put on the back. If no, I will start anterior. Then I will start by chaba. I will hold my hands. This chaba in the form of. Chest examination, chest expansion, chest expansion, then percussion mode, then auscultation. That means any chest 
any examinations you have to in the chest you have to link your heart link your brain link your thinkings to these three items chest examination chest expansion percussion work on auscultations because examiners behind you when you finish that case they will say to you present your finding you will present your finding based on this Yes, it's function, percussion mode, and auscultations. The findings are here, auscultatory findings. Then I will start my chest expansion. I will warm my hands, and you have to warm your hand. If your hand is still cold, and the patient, he said, ah, here, this is welfare. Unlike you will pass this exam easy. Take care, yeah. Warm, warm your hands, make it. If you still, if you feel your hands, is still cold, tell to the examiner, by excuse me, boss, by nature my hand is cold. By nature my hand is cold. Chest expansion divided into three areas. Above the nibble, within the nibble, below the nibble. Above the nibble like this. Nafas. Within the nibble like this. Nafas. Below the nibble like this. Nafas. This is my personal technique. There are different techniques. Then after doing this, some people say doing like this, no problem. Then after doing this, immediately put your hands into apex to identify the where in the apex, on the right or in the left. After finishing this, immediately put your two fingers into second palpable, palpable second heart sounds in the pulmonary area. The three steps in palpation. Palpation of the chest, three steps. Number one, above the nipple, nafas. Within the nipple, nafas. Below the nipple, like this, stretching the skin like this, again, nafas. Then after that, abix. Then after that, if you did not get it, tilt the patient to the left, to the left sides, you know, I know it. Then after that, above that, for Barbable second heart sounds. I finish barbation. I will come to the this chest expansion finished. I will come to the percussion notes. Percussion notes. Percussion notes like this. Above the clavicle, then supra mammary, three intercostal space or two intercostal space, mammary, one intercostal space, infra mammary, one intercostal space. Again, supra clavicular. Like this. Can you look there, please? Again, here. This is supra clavicular. Then, supra mammary. Two intercostal spaces, two lines. Mid clavicular line and mid axillary line. Again, mid clavicular line and mid axillary line. In the mid clavicular line, I will start supra clavicular. Then, Supra mammary, two or three intercostal space, one. Two is enough. Mammary, one intercostal space. Infra mammary, one intercostal, intercostal space, and go lateral. Then I will come to the axillary lines. Here, again, can you do like that? Yes. I finish my percussion notes. Percussion notes in chest divided into two lines. Mid clavicular line and mid axillary line. Mid clavicular line above the clavicle one. Then supra mammary, two intercostal space. Mammary, one intercostal space. Infra mammary, one intercostal space, but lateral. Then I will go to the axillary line, three intercostal space. One. One, 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 one. Here, I noticed that this gentleman has left thoracotomy scar. And I don't know whether with which types of lobotomy I'm dealing with. Because from the end of the bed, this patient definitely not pneumonotomy. Why? Because from the end of the bed, the chest is not doing like that. If from the end of the chest is doing like that, and yeah, if the patient having pneumonotomy, you will get the chest most likely like that. 
all the lungs is removed. But here it is not like that. Most likely I'm dealing with low octal. Here finish your percussion notes. I will start. Imagine that the left lung. Focus with me, please. Here, focus with me. Imagine that the lower loops of the lungs is removed. Imagine that. When I percuss from above, here in this area there is lung. In this area there is no lung. When I percuss from above here, it will be resonant. Resonant, resonant because there is one. When I go down below the scar, it will become dull. Huh? Huh? It will become dull. That means there is lower lobotor. That means if you meet one someone beside you having lobotomy, you can say for him, and you would like to bring the diagnosis, you can say for him, can you do like that, please? Can you do like that? And start to percuss from above down only. Imagine that the upper or the lower loop is removed. This area where there is no lung, it will be dull. How you will identify it? Because from above. The area, the above area will be what? Resonant. I will start, huh? Resonant, resonant, resonant. When I come down, it will become dull. That means this, the lower part of the lungs is removed. That is why it is dull. Here, what I need from you is, <coughs> Do your percussion notes as usual. Like, as I said to you, the auxiliary line, one, two, three, four, yes, like this. You finish the three area by comparison, but there is no monoctomy or lobotomy scar. There is thyroidotomy, there is a left thoracotomy scar. Start, complete your percussion notes. Can I know your diagnosis, please? One, resonant, resonant, resonant. Ah, I become dull. Thank you. You have lower lobotomy because before I finish my, my exam. Then I will come to the auscultations. To summarize you again, percussion nose mid clavicular line and mid axillary line. Mid <coughs> clavicular line, supra, mama, supra clavicular, and then supra mammary two space, mammary one space, infra mammary one space laterally. Then after that, by comparison in the axillary line here and here, here and here, here and here, three intercourses. If there is Lateral sauracotum start, start from above down. And after finishing percussion, not do this. If the patient having upper lobotomy as example, upper lobotomy as example, it will become dull, dull, dull. When I come down, it will become resonant. Then, bye-bye percussion, no. I will come to the auscultation. Auscultation, you are going to auscultate the following. The same area of Percussion notes. The same area where you percuss before you are going to put your stethoscope for two sensations. Number two or two auscultatory uh, findings. Number one, higher injury and abnormal sounds like wheeze and crackers. Number two, for vocal resonance. I will start number one. When I percuss, I percuss above the clavicle. Huh? Nafas? Nafas? Yes. By what? By the bill. Then I will shift it to the diaphragm. I hear I will cut I will cut sobre memory too. Here nafas, 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 nafas. Then memory, also nafas, nafas. Then infra memory, here, nafas, nafas. Then auxiliary one, 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 one. Same area where you get where you will cut, you are going to put your stethoscope. But I saw after finishing my auscultation, I saw that this bantin man has left sauracotomy scar. I would like to bring the diagnosis. Can I do it? Yes. Huh? Take deep breath. Take deep breath. Here there is one. Imagine that there is lobotomy lower. I will start here. Yeah, this the lower part is removed. In this area, the air inter will be reduced. That is why when I ask him, take deep breath. There is air inter, yes, there is air inter, yes, there is air inter. When I go down where there is no lung, the breath sounds will be diminished. That is why I said to him, thank you. Again, I confirm that you have lower lobotomy. That is why if, if someone beside you, anywhere, you would like to identify whether this is lower lobotomy or upper lobotomy, ask him to do like that, please. And auscultate from above, huh? Air, air, air. If there are lower lobotomy in this area, there is no air in there. If there is pneumonotomy from the present, 
Hops and air entering all the side, all the, all the side of the chest. Then I will come to the next step, to the vocal resonance. Again, huh? the same area where you put your oscilloscope, you are going to, huh? 99? 99. Uh -huh. 99. Okay. Then I will do same, huh? 99. 99. Okay, no problem. I will do it. 99. 99. 99. Super memory 2. 99. 99. Memory. Zion 99. 99. And infra memory. Then I will come to the auxiliary line. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Then I saw that he has got lateral sorocotum scar. If you have a doubt, Again, do it, huh? 99, 99, 99. If there is lower lobotomy, when I come here, it will become 99, 99. The vocal resonance will be reduced down. That being really distant, the man has left lower lobotomy. Here I finish my anterior part. Imagine that you got crackles. You got a wheeze, link that into your pocket. Put it in your pocket. Because, wallahi, if you miss the means, the wheeze, or you miss the auscultatory finding, the examiner, he will ask you, present your finding. What else? He will say to you, what else? The second bar, what else? The third one, he will say to you, proceed. Why? If the examiner, he said to you, what else? Put in your mind that you are drinking poison. Or put in your mind that there is a big mistake. Or there is something important. Your tongue. You know it and you saw it, but your tongue is not, it, you get difficulty to mention it. That is why link your heart to the finding, you will pass. Don't link your heart to the steps of examinations. And don't take the patient in clinical as one piece. Cut the patient into pieces. This piece is in the form of skills you will pass. Don't take the patient as one unit. It will be very difficult for you. Finish your examinations, pick your finding. Tell the examiner, this is my finding, the differential diagnosis. He will say to you, what is the differential, what is the plan of management, finish the case. I'm going to the, <coughs> if you got crackles as examples, if you got crackles as example, here, ask the patient to take deep breaths. Digest the nature of the crackle ferris in your brain. Huh? Nafas? Again, nafas? I guess this is, yes, this is an inspiratory cause, an inspiratory, I digest it. Now, can you have a look there, please? Can you have a look there? Now, can you give me a cough? <coughs> then, now take deep breath again. I will know whether this crackles change it. If it is partial change it, that means this is bronchiectasis is for differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis will be changed, plan of management will be changed, everything will be changed. Why? Because the nature of the rectal has been changed. If the crackles is not changing, that means I am dealing with pulmonary fibrosis. The plan of management will be changing, differential diagnosis will be changing. If it is severe, this is secretions. Either this crackles partially changing, this is bronchiectasis, not changing, this is pulmonary fibrosis, or this severe might be secretion, consolidation of something else. Now, sometimes, sometimes, the examiners they are going to stay on, the, on this side, like this. And definitely like this, observing you. Here, the patients, you will ask the patient now, can you give me a cough? He definitely he will not cough on you. You will say to him, can you have a look there? He will cough on this boss examiners standing here. Tell the examiners, excuse me, boss. I would like, can you take care for yourself, please? I'm going to ask this patient to give me a cough. Is this his impression? Good impressions. One of my one of the candidates attended with me before I he, I said to him like he said that what well, the consultant he met him he met him outside the hospital he said as you take care for us before we also we we did good for you we take care for you also that is why here I finish my anterior part of my chest then I will come to the posterior part of my chest can you sit down please then I'm going to Examine the back of the chest. The patient, he will do for me like that. He will, I'm going to examine the back. The patient, he will say to me, no, tra, trachea. Huh? I'm going back, back. He will say to me, don't go to the back. The barrier between 
the anterior bar and the posterior bar is trachea. For this trachea, three steps. The first step to identify whether this trachea is deviated or not deviated. The second step is to identify the signs of hyperinflation in the form of reduced cricosternal notch distance or uh, tracheal descent with inspiration, what we call in medicine tracheal pipe. Can you focus please here at the here also? Yes. Now, can you uh, then I will for the, the first step tracheal deviation. Then I will come here to see first to have a look about the trachea. For an inspection, this trachea is, looks likely deviated to this side. Then I will bring my finger like that from the sternocleidomastoid like that down and I will bring us here. Then also here. Can you sit here to make it Don't bring, bring only focus here in the middle. Huh? I can you rest from inspection I have a look. Then I will come from sternocleidomastoid to check for space between the lower end of the tendon of the sternocleidomastoid and the trachea here and also here. You will get that the space here is very narrow, or if it is deviated to this side, it will be what less. If it is deviated to this side, this finger will be less. The, the space will be here will be less. Then I will come to the second step, which is cricosternal nose distance. This is the thyroid cartilage here below it. Below it immediately the cricoid cartilage, the sternal nose. You will check here. You will get the cricosternal nose distance around three fingers. This is normal. Three fingers are above. Imagine that this patient having hyperinflation. The chest is hyperinflated, full of air. This distance will become very, will become, will become, will become around two fingers, or become become around one finger. That means this is signs indicating that this chest is hyperinflated. I will come to the third step, which is tracheal descent with inspiration. If this patient having hyperinflation like pneumothorax, when I ask, I will do like that, take deep breathing, nafas, I will feel the tracheal descent, tracheal descent movement with inspirations, that means it's going to touch me in my finger, indicating that this is signs of hyperinflation. I mean that if someone having hyperinflation like COBD, if you put your finger like this, take deep breathing. Now if you put your finger like this to check the tracheal movement, no one of you having feeling, no, will, no one will feel the tracheal descent. Because it, but if the patient having hyperinflation and you put your finger like this, you will feel the movement of the trachea in your, in your index finger, what we call in medicine, tracheal descent movement or tracheal pipe. That is why in tracheal three steps. Number one, huh? deviation, like this. Number two, cricosternal notch distance, like this. Now, cricosternal notch distance, don't ask him to take the piris, but to put it like this. If hyperinflated, the diaphragm is pushing this lungs down, or the lungs is pushing the diaphragm, and the lungs is hyperinflated, you will get it like this, two or one finger. Then, the last one is take deep breath. Tracheal time. Again, again for the trachea, tracheal deviation, number one. Tracheal note distance, like this. Number three, take deep breath. Huh? One, two, three, take deep breath. Then I will come to the back, relax. You can sit now. After I finish in the anterior part, I will go to the posterior part, he will push me to not go to the back unless I check the trachea. Then I will come to the back. In the back, I have to do what? Focus with me. I have to do inspection phase. If you did not do inspections of the back, they will minus you. I will do my inspection phase. If there is again, yes, same scar here. Also, there is two small scars here. Okay, thank you. Then I will come to the same steps. Chest expansion, percussion, not auscultation. Chest expansion, I will move my hands above the scapula. 
within the scapular, below the scapular. I mean suprascapular, interscapular, infrascapular. Above the scapular, nafas. Within the scapular, like this, nafas. Below the scapula like this, huh? nafas. To check. Then I will start, I finish. I will come to the percussion notes. Percussion notes above the scapula, suprascapular, interscapular, infrascapular. Suprascapular, huh? do like that, please. The only position when you are going to do percussion, this is the best area to do the bit or patient to do like that. Huh? Suprascapular like this. Don't percuss above on the scapula. Suprascapular. Huh? Huh. Then, interscapular. Interscapular is three intercostal space. Here and here. Don't percuss again. Can you move to this side? Don't percuss on the. This is the medial borders of the scapula. Percuss on the. In this area, the space here and here. If the examiner saw you percussing above the scapula like this, they will minus you. Forget that you will get 20, they will give you 19. Why? The candidate do percussion notes above on the scapula. Then interscapular three interposter space. Here, 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 here. Then infrascapular two intercostal space, but lateral. Here. Then like that. Is that okay? Then the percussion note in chest above the scapula, interscapular, one, three intercostal space, infrascapular, two intercostal space lateral. This is the scapula, yes, intercostal space. Here, again, here, and here. Then after that, okay, thank you. You have to auscultate on the, okay. On the same area where you percuss, I'm going to do two maneuver on the sculpture. I finish the percussion notes. I will come to the auscultations. Then after one, after that, number one, above the scapula, nafas, 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 nafas. Interscapular three, okay? Huh? Nafas, 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 nafas. Infrascapular two, nafas, 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 lateral. As the same area where you percuss one, Three, two. You will cast one. Three intercostal space. Suprascapular, one intercostal space. Interscapular, three intercostal space. Infrascapular, two intercostal space laterally. Same area. You will cast, you will put your oscilloscope. Nafas, 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 nafas. Like that. I finish the first part of auscultation. I will come to the second part, which is Vocal resonance, huh? 99, 99, again here 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Then after that, I finish this, I will come to the lymph nodes. In the lymph node, I will start by sub mentally, sub mentally, then supra, uh, infra, infra, uh, uh, sub mental, infra. Uh, mandibular, then two anterior, anterior auricular and anterior cervical, then two posterior, posterior auricular, posterior cervical and occipital. Then do like this, please. Can you do like this, please? Do like this. Then I will come to the supra clavicular. Again, the lymph nodes. Again, submental. Sub mandibular, then two anterior, anterior auricular, anterior cervical, then two posterior, posterior auricular, posterior cervical, and occipital. Then do like this, so we can, then I will come to the supra clavicular. At the end, I will say to him, Do you have any pain, please? And I would like to press on your back. Do you have any pain? Yeah. Okay. Press. For sacral edema while your eyes is here, then I will check it. Then I will sit my leg, the patient lie down, and I have to cover him and I thank him. Thank you. Okay, this is regarding the regarding the uh, examination technique. I finished my examination techniques. I didn't open my mouth. 
I got eight marks in my pocket. The first four is examination technique. The second four is welfare. The patient, he didn't say, ah, this is four marks. Then I finished my exam from here. I gave my face examiners to the examiners. I will say to the examiners, I will not be in stress from your side. Because I know that you are going to ask me FDB, finding, differential diagnosis of the finding plan of minimum. Usually don't say in the basis or in the Irish exam, don't irritate the examiners by starting no, no, no. Many people, they cannot present their finding if they did not start. Yani they have to start by no on examination of this gentleman. He has no stigma of chronic liver disease. He has no, what he has no, he has no examiner. He will say to you, stop, present your finding. And if the patient, he said to you, stop in the basis or any exam, you will get mental block. You don't know from where you are going to start again. And the examiners, you will get mental block in two situations in the exam. If the patient, he, if the examiner, he changed his, his facial expression to you during the exam, you will get mental block. The second mental block, if he said to you, stop, present your finding. If I give you my mark sheet, you will not get negative finding. This, no, 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 there is no peripheral stigmata of infective endocarditis, there is no clogging, there is no res JVB, there is no, there is no, at the end, you are going to think about the positive finding, this is wrong. And he will say to you, stop, the only things between you and the issue between you and between me and you is positive finding. If you mention it, you will pass. Mention the positive findings randomly. Then to, then to mention the positive findings, uh, well organized, at the end you will miss or you invent finding. That is why. Don't start by no. Link your heart to the positive finding, you will pass. Wallahi, the most common cause of death in candidates in this phase is because of finding in clinical station and in concern in talkative station communications or uh, history or station five. That is why when I come to the examinations of the chest, on the all the chest cases, whether fibrosis, from, uh, whether fibrosis or lobotomy or COBD or consolidation or pleural effusion, all of them, with exception of bronchiectasis, with exception of bronchiectasis, all of them, they are sharing one frame of presentation. This. Java. If you say to the examiners, you say to the examiners, excuse me, examiner, can I have a look to your mark sheet in the chest? You will get this. You want to pass or you want to waste your time? You want to pass? Yes. We link your heart to the positive finding. Don't say for me any negative finding. What is your finding? Present your finding on this patient. I will not come to this Java unless I start by inspecting finding. In his Inspecting finding first by using has on examination of this gentleman has in inspecting finding one two three apart from that Chaba. Now I will start on examination of this gentleman has has what on examination of this gentleman has if there is has okay no has has a, no has inside this patient no inspecting finding go immediately to the to the inside that is on examination of this gentleman has left thoracotomy scar has two small scar below it i finish it on examination of the chest chapa chest expansion is reduced in the left lower zone percussion node is dull in the left lower zone auscultation there is reduced air entry in the left or there is reduced breath sounds in the left lower zone plus reduced vocal vocal resonance my summary this gentleman has got a feature consistent with left lower lobotomy for differential diagnosis. Again, you they have two options. Yani, patient with pulmonary fibrosis, patient with COB, patient with any, you start following this. If you got it, say, if you did not get it, well, I could not appreciate it. But on examination of this gentleman has, in the left lower zone, on examination of this gentleman has an insert has left thoracotomy scar. Below this scar, there is small two scars. And 
in the left lower zone, examiner, you say to him, what is wrong in the left lower zone? Give us yes, yes, yes. I will say to him, in the left lower zone, chest expansion is reduced, percussion mode is dull, auscultation, there is reduced or diminished breath sounds, and there is reduced vocal resonance. My summary is this gentleman has got a feature consistent with left lower lobotomy for differential their notes. Then, examiner here, he will ask you, okay, uh, that uh, before, before examiner, see if you, this lobotomy is very easy, very easy in the exam to, uh, to pick it out. Just start from above down, percussion or auscultation from above down to pick it. As soon as you pick it, good, cook it, cook. Definitely this chest expansion is reduced in this area, where there no air interview where there is percussion note is done. Definitely. This is uh, on examination. This gentleman has left thoracotomy scar. Below this, there is two small scars. Focus all. Because of these two small scars, in last day, no need to mention the centers. Uh, these two small scars, if you did not mention it, because candidates, they didn't mention it, they minus them. They will minus you. This because of drainage. These two small scars because of DNA. On examination of this gentleman, left thoracotomy scar below it, there is small two scar. In the left lower zone, chest expansion reduced, percussion note is dull, auscultation there is. Diminished air entry or diminished breath sounds plus reduced vocal resonance, a case of left lower lobotomy for differential diagnosis. Imagine that it is upper lobotomy. Yani I will cut here, it becomes dull, dull. When I go down, it becomes resonant. I put my oscilloscope, there is no air entering, there is no air inter entering. When I come down, it will become what? There is air entering. That means the upper part is removed. Present your finding. Has an inza. This gentleman has left thoracotomy scar, below it there is two small scar. Has trachea deviated to the, to the left side. In the left upper zone of the chest, chaba, chest expansion is Reduce percussion note is dull auscultation there is. Reduce air interior, reduce breath sounds plus reduce vocal resonance. A case of left upper lobotomy for differential diagnosis. Examiner will ask what is the differential diagnosis of left thoracotomy scar. Number one could be lobotomy. What else could be pneumonotomy? What else could be single lung transplantation? What else? could be lung reduction surgery. Again, what is the differential diagnosis? Differential diagnosis of left thoracotomy scar, lobotomy, pneumonotomy, single lung transplantation, or lung reduction surgery. Last thing you can say could be trauma. Shift yourself, what is the differential diagnosis of the causes of lobotomy in these patients? In this patient, imagine that I hear crackles. During my examination, imagine that I hear crackles here or here or there with whiz. That means I have to know what is the nature of this crackles. Change it or not change it? I get it changing. That means there is two pathology, lobotomy plus bronchiectasis. Presented like this. This gentleman has left thoracotomy scar. Below it, there is two small scars. In the left lower zone, there is chest expansion is reduced, percussion model, auscultation, there is reduce air entry with vocal resonance in this left lower zone. Apart from that, go for the second bosley. Apart from that, also by auscultation there is coarse in respiratory crackles, partially changed with cough, distributed mainly in the right, in the left, in the upper zone of the chest with whiz, with scatter whiz. My summary, this gentleman has left lower lobotomy for differential diagnosis. If the examiner he will ask what is the differential diagnosis in, in this patient, I will say to him in view of this course regular partially change with cuff, the top of my differential diagnosis is the uh, bronchiectasis. So that if you got mixed lesions in the chest, bronchiectasis, fibrosis, the time is not enough for that. Cut it, divide it alone, anyone alone, then take them together. Uh, what is the differential diagnosis of lobotomy in this patient? Number one lung bronchiectasis, what else? Lung cancer, what else? Lung abscess, what else? And lung bronchiectasis, 
long cancer, long abscess, and even long adenoma or lung nodule, lung adenoma with bleeding or lung nodule with unknown origin. What investigation you would like to carry out for this patient? To confirm my diagnosis after basic investigation, CBC, RFT, LFT, electrolytes, I would like to do for this patient chest, uh, high resolution CT scan. What test, other tests you would like to do? Pulmonary function test. What do you suspect? Risk directive lung disease. What is the treatment? The treatment is non-pharmacological and pharmacological. Non-pharmacological education counseling about this disease, stop smoking, vaccination as appropriate. He will ask you what types of vaccine, say for him, pneumococcal, hemophilus, influenza virus. Pneumococcal, hemophilus, influenza virus. Nahi. Pneumococcal, hemophilus, influenza virus and pulmonary rehabilitation program. Pharmacological treatment, treatment of any exacerbations and regular follow-up in our patient clinic. Thank you and see you for uh, another session, inshallah.